Alright, processing. Now... Hang on a minute. What does that come out to? 33. 115 times 4 times 0.3. We're going to be generating roughly 140 tons of quarried stone, which means that this is actually going to be enough for that. Okay. Now, going back to an aggregate. This is not going to be the only location where we generate gravel. I have my eye on a couple of other places that I've looked at. Hey, Doom Yeti. So I don't want this to be the only location where I end up having gravel. I feel like these are going to be fine for right now. So let's go ahead and get another large aggregate. Right there. We will connect all of these to make them as efficient as possible. Because if you don't have all of them, sometimes they can actually be less efficient. Truck aggregate loading is going to go right here for truck movement. Um, and then we're going to need train aggregate loading. But for that, I'm actually going to end up doing at least... Hang on a minute. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Transfer facility. No. Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay, now. That connects everything there. Oh, that might be a mistake. We'll see in a minute. We'll see in a minute. Connect you guys there. Um, that might also be a mistake. We'll find out. Not a mistake, not a mistake. Mistake. Although I think it's just the standard road as it is. Um, let's see if I can fix that by getting rid of the road here. We'll see if we can work past. Sort of. Sort of. Er, okay, okay, okay. Uh, let me get... I don't want to do two more conveyor engine transfers. Might be my only bet. Alright, let's see if we can connect in here, connect in there, we'll connect you there. It's not the cleanest thing I've ever done, but it does function.
Okay, and we're gonna connect you over here. Now, you guys. that connected up there. Yeah, that works. Um, I could smooth that out. That's that's rough. <laughs> Fix that. Fix that. There you go. You're connected, and you are now connected. That could be a hell of a lot worse. Hey, look! There they go! Oh, good! There's our oil! Alright! And you're on a way to drop off even more? Oh, you burned all your oil, so you actually need to take some of the oil that you dropped off to then go back. Okay, well, good to know. Yeah, that worked out. Long Road here is going pretty well. Uh, party headquarters is on the way. Cool. <clears throat> Starting to get some of our professor's houses up. I'll tell you what I'd like to do. I'd like to go ahead and figure out how I'm going to get these rails over. Ah, come on. works. Bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> okay. Gentlemen, if I could turn you to 3,000, that would be wonderful. Perfect. There go all of our aggregate trucks. And they're ready to work on everything here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab these, though. I want to assign them to everything here. Hey, there they all go. So that's going to keep these guys busy for a hot minute. Is our town okay? Our town is all right. <laughs> I'll tell you what, about the only thing that could be better is if I made sure that right now, while we still have time, take all these paths, except for you. You need to go. Good. And get them fixed up. And then I come over here to a water pumping station. Alright, just get me a small water pipe, connect that to there, small water pipe, connect to there. Okay, that will finally fix it, so guys, this will go away, it will actually have drinking water, everything will be fine. Um, let's see. What do you mean you're without power supply? Really? Ugh, I did a terrible job. You know... <laughs> For all the ideas that I had with this town, I did an awful job with it. I feel like I did narrow in a little bit on what I'm trying to do with some of these towns, but yeah, it could have been a lot better. Could have been a lot better. Shut up, Periapsis. Shut up. We're not restarting yet. We're not restarting yet. Run 12, not incoming. 
just kidding. We're not on run 12. We're on run 3 right now. 2? 3. 3. We're on run 3. Oh. Our research program has finished. How are we looking, by the way? Oof. We're at about a 25k deficit. Yes, failure is instructional. Failure is always an option. Ooh, steel recycling. I'm a fan of the steel recycling idea. I can get behind that. Let's start with just general waste separation. So one thing that could happen... Here's a fun thing. You can import construction waste for almost nothing. Actually cheaper than quarried stone. And turn it into gravel. You could also import hazardous waste. Turn it into mixed waste. Take the mixed waste and turn it into... All of the other varieties. Then take the other waste, burn it turn that into power take that power to create steel and aluminum and plastics and all that stuff from all the wastes oh and get paid for it the hazardous waste is actually valuable for us you import it and they instantly pay you a thousand per ton You know, I wonder. <laughs> this is about to be a really dumb idea. Where does one store hazardous waste? You can store hazardous waste. Stand for big containers. Hazardous waste. Hang on, let's see something really quick. I'm going to use a free dump to check something out. Oh, you can set that to purely hazardous waste. Okay. Alright, so what does it cost me to build... 450... 450 tons. It's going to be 29 tons of steel. Ooh. Ooh. Railway. Oh, that's a railway version. Okay, um, what if I just do this? Okay, just roads. 350 tons, so 14 tons of steel. What does steel cost us? It's not cheap. Fourteen tons. But honestly. The first 14 tons of waste would pay for that. So, here's a fun fact. I could actually place a series of dumps side by side. I could haul waste in and get paid for it and just store it until I'm ready to go ahead and do something with it. And what is your major malfunction, sir? Um... Go home. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, you need to be sold. Why do I not... Have I burned through that much fuel? Okay, that's a problem. One truck used to be enough to handle everything coming here. I 
I think I need to multiply that. So we're going to grab you. And I'm going to copy your schedule to two more vehicles. Copy to one. Yep, that is the second one. Copy to you as well. Start you off. Whoa! Gas is already gone. Why? You grabbed it all. To move to the construction office. Construction office 2. Yep, because you're running low. Okay. I have definitely learned a lot about efficiencies in this run. Oh, I know. Money's going low. Yep. Failure is entirely an option. And it's also entirely a possibility. We're not dead yet. As the famous Monty Python show once said, I'm not dead yet. Ripley, I'm feeling better. One hundred and twelve tons of gravel over here. Getting the statue to Lenin done. You know, I really wish that there were even cheaper houses that you could build. Just super, super cheap. Like, cheaper than these guys. No steel. Just like, crap wooden houses. I'm sure there are if you go modded. But I don't know how balanced a lot of those things are. I don't want to, like... I don't want to go super cheap and, uh... You know. Make things way, way, way too efficient. Border seems to be flowing right now. Yeah, we're purchasing more things like steel, so it's going to cost us. Oh, groundwork is actually done. I'm going to set that to low. At some point, what I'm going to have to do is actually go and upgrade a lot of these roads. I would definitely like to upgrade the roads in the town and upgrade their pathing. But I'm going to wait till I get our gravel plant done, because then I can do it all at once. And I think I would like to go ahead and grab... A road like that. There we go. Get another throughput there. Probably wrap a road around this. Oh, they do leave me a nice little dead end there. No workers here because they've actually been working. This side of the town is actually activated. I think I've activated the whole damn thing, actually. 
Yeah, looks like it. It is a ghost town. Might need some actual shops. The nice thing is, we don't need that much to process gravel. It's going to be fully automated with just a whole bunch of trucks. Ah, oh, man. Come on, guys. You're going to run out, too. Uh, I need trains. They are coming along. Not very quickly, but they are coming along. I think we need all of this to be high priority. Let's get over to the actual border. There it is. I think that's everything turned on there. 100 tons of prefab, another 100 tons of prefab. What do those cost us? I don't even know how much a prefab panel is. Offhand. Steel's 416. Prefab's probably a lot cheaper. Oh yeah! 23 to 25? Okay, okay. Nowhere near as bad as I expected. If I got this, I could actually move bricks the easy way, too. Be a hell of a lot easier than anything else I'm doing. Uh, other nice thing would be if I could actually get my... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Logistics. It'd be two researches to get some basic logistics going. Then I can actually make everything more efficient. That's a lot of steel. I'm going to be using about 300 tons of steel. Maybe four. So that's going to cost me a pretty penny. The gas station over here is ready to go. Oh my gosh! No! No! Uh-oh. Gas is a problem, man. If we don't figure out this gas problem right now, the run's over. And there it goes. We're unloading it to go somewhere else. You guys, I don't need you loading from there anymore. I need you unloading there. I need you loading from here.
And we're just going to get everybody up to 90%. I'm going to try and load this manually. But we're at the point where we need it to actually be done by the freaking distribution office. Because all they're doing right now is screwing me over. Yeah, we just took all 11 tons. So I need to babysit this until a couple of these trucks can get through. Where are you going? Valenciava gas station, Valenciava gas station. Okay. Yeah, no more pulling from that gas station. Good, we've got some there. No, they can't refuel on the border. Has to be from a gas station somewhere on your side, and you have to pull fuel from the border and get it to that gas station. Whether it be a free gas station, whether it be a built gas station, either way, it just has to be a gas station on your side. I feel like these blocks are the most efficient thing I've ever come up with. High density of workers in a smallish area. They need more materials. <laughs> I just wanted to see if they could actually speed things up, but I just realized they don't have enough materials. But they're going to be very loyal to Lenin, so that's okay. Uh... Why are you building the thing I don't want you to build? No. Uh, Raffo, that's not the problem. That's... You're looking at the wrong issue. The problem isn't the number of gas stations. The problem is the way that I was drawing gas from all of my stations. I had trucks set to grab from the border and take directly here. And they were not assigned... They were just assigned that was their only route. They were... It was like one truck coming there, dropping off there. The problem I had, that was the idea behind that was to reduce traffic on the border. My problem was I was then using a distribution office with three trucks to draw from this location and supply everything else on the map. Three trucks drawing from this was too much with only one truck drawing from the border. Um, on top of that, traffic is not making life any easier because I have increased traffic by selling bricks and selling wood. So, that's the problem. <laughs> bricks and bricks. Uh, is this built yet? Nope. I think I still went too big. I think I fought too hard to make a good-looking town. And in doing so... <laughs> 